It is time now for the Peter Channel 3 o'clock news, Friday, December 12th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody, and evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I have 3 o'clock news headlines here on this Friday afternoon, December 12th, 2014. And our top story at 3 o'clock here is U.S. Senate has until late Saturday night to complete work on a $1.1 trillion spending package to keep most government agencies operating in fact next summer. The airspace over London was briefly closed Friday. Afternoon due to weather for they said was a computer fail at one of the Britain's two air traffic control and centers. The Scott Step drama continues to unfold with latest start reports and he's threatened to assassinate President Barack Obama. In new 911 tapes obtained by TMZ, the Rockers wife Jacqueline and her sister told dispatcher that Step thinks he's parked. Ebola plagues Sierra on has been in all day celebrations this year as it continues to fight the deadly virus at the head of the government's Ebola response unit told reporters. Facebook is thinking about adding a way to dislike the post on his head. Founder Mark Zuckerberg has said, speaking at a Q&A session in California, he said that one of the most requested features that the social network has received from its users. It is final day. The Colbert Report is getting creative with its guest pickings. The Grim Reaper of Grimmy is expected to be the final guest on December 18th on Tuesday. On Thursday, Colbert played host too. And even more unusual fictional creation, Smog. A Palestinian man was shot by a president's bill after he was attacked and the Israeli family were picking up a hitchhiker near Jerusalem. Ukraine's president said Friday that the fragile ceasefire between government forces and Russian-backed separatists and the Eastern Ukraine held for the first full day since Biden began. There in the spring, Russia had traveled with Israel on Harcourt Road on Hong Kong Island yesterday morning after the tent city, which had been filled up for 75 days, was cleared away by police. Extreme weather hit the Bay Area this week and we were excited about it as how else to explain that no sooner did the National Weather Service issue a high wind and a flash flood warning of the Bay Area this week. House and Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Rogers told him reports that a monitor base hosts to breakfast that officially torture is both knowable and proven. The death of Tamir Rass, a 12 year old Cleveland boy who had displayed a toy gun, was a homicide caused by the single shot fired by the Ricky police officer during the legal intervention at Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office set on Friday. In Montebello, a 43-year-old Montebello man being held on $1 million bail fighting for the murder of his wife and kidnapping of his children. In business news, New York New Technology stocks launched into the public trade on Friday with some central momentum back in the overall stock market decline and carrying on the generally positive momentum in 2014 technology IPOs. In Washington, Americans bring with confidence in early December as they shop for Holiday gift signaling retailers that will see sales will continue to accelerate ahead in 2015. The British price index for final demand in the United States fell 0.2% in November 4th, stand by the worldwide decline in oil prices, the U.S. said. Take a look at stock market reports here. Dow Jones closed 17 for 11.15, down 185.19. SP 520, 20.24, down 50 below 9. And Nasdaq 46, down 1.15, down 17.01. Google will reportedly move into the its Russian office to avoid the country's increasingly restrictive internet freedom laws. Dropbox wants to help you collaborate with your co-workers a little easier. That cloud storage company on Thursday introduced a new feature to Dropbox package which lets you see information with Microsoft Office documents you've been working. Rihanna can pack a room as she did for her first time of ball in last night as she welcomed the next and appropriately dressed Kim Kardashian, Sam Hayek, and Jimmy Kimmel and Brad Pitt. The media is having a field day with a recent and continuing leak of Sony Pictures email exchanges and why not because as one commentator put it, the leaking incident itself would make a great movie with what money, ego, and temper tantrums. Boston, a centuries old time capsule buried by Paul Revere, icon in the American Refuge War, was unearthed during repairs at the Massachusetts State House in Boston this week, Secretary St. William Galvin said on Friday. Dried in South Powell, Brazil on October 2014, drowned. As the talks about how the divisions between development and development nations. In London, to the delight of some out there, a team of British researchers has discovered that men are bigger idiots than women and they have a connotation with male idiot theory. Medical commodities are linked to poor semen quality, suggesting that the current health condition and genetic factors affect sperm production of adequate findings in a cross sectional study published on 9 December 9th in Fertility in Australia. Take a look at New England and Slurts here at 304. In New York Police Department in the Queens, the New York Police Department and Emergency Services units are currently on the scene of active technical call in the confines of the 103 precinct. 
No further information is available at the time. And in Lowell, Massachusetts, Morphe Hawks in Merrimack Street at Decatur Street, the crash wall, a seven year old child reportedly injured. A2 reports Blue Hill Avenue by Intervale Street, Roxbury is fully impassable due to park testers on the street. They will be delayed to the call and will be updated, unable to pass. And in Southwick, a female who is usually works finding more in his office space where the car came crash and fat was fortunate out of work, police said. And Springfield Police seized 232 grams of poor cocaine from a New Jersey man in the city's Mason Square neighborhood fire early Friday morning. And in Lowell, Massachusetts, on Dunham Street, Lowell Fire Department engine threw on still on for a junk ATM machine on fire in the junkyard as stretched along and requested a ladder truck and deputy chief to the scene. Peter Channel News, I'm 305. Town on fire sports with Peter Taylor with a 12 6 Thursday night football winner with the St. Louis Rams at Arizona Cardinals of a Clear path to the NFC playoffs are an incredibly and unlikely tie between the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles this weekend. Michael Jordan still wills over Kobe Bryant. Almost 10 months after the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office charged NFL State Darren Sharp with seven felony counts, including two counts for, very, for drugs of use. The 39 and Trumper was down in the Louisiana fighting on an aggravated rape. And tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the TD Garden tonight, take on the New York Knickerbockers at 7.30 p.m. And the North Lancer will be open its boys basketball season at home tonight against the Ashland Clockers. Game time, 6.30 p.m. Here, Peter Tell News on 306. 10 and a half old travel report here on this Friday. On this Friday afternoon here. And Safety says press on the North Fan side, ducked up from the split all the way to 9 of the pack. Two the Hills Tunnel slowing both ends. And Safety says press is slowing both ends around a master and a bridge. And Southbound slope down for Dorchester. Mass Pike going to eastbound side, slow around Newton Corner, and Mass Pike westbound, slow around Newton Corner, doing an accident on Mass Pike, so that's middle A's here. 129 on the northbound side is backed up from the split all the way down for Route 24 Randolph here. And Route 3 along the side more is a little slow here. And Route 3 southbound slow from Route 16 in Weymouth to around Route 228 in Rockland here. 95 on the southbound side is backed up from Pawtucket down for the downtown Providence. 610 connector so from Route 6 westbound down for 95 here in downtown Providence here. And 120 on the southbound side is backed up from 3A in Burlington all the way down to Route 2. And then you hit the brakes again from Route 20 Waltham all the way down through Route 1 in Norwood here. 39395 on the line 5 from 120 to the New Hampshire border. 495 northbound a little slow around the long stretch. And Mass Pike and the Westbound side, an accident after past 29395 Robert Sir Expect Malays here. And Route 1 of Washington Street and Renfrew, an accident, so expect some delays here. Otherwise, on Route 3 South and slow you approach the Sunwar Bridge around Route 6 here. But otherwise, it's gonna get busy on this Friday afternoon around the region here in the highways here. And Peter Chell News on Pure 8. Take a look at the weather situation here. Going into the night, we are going to see some slight chance of flooding before 3 a.m. Class guys are gradually becoming a park class guy. Low on 26 degrees in the northwest, with about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Saturday, slight chance of flooding after 10 a.m. Park sky guy, about 3 to 9 degrees in the northwest, with about 5 to 8 miles per hour. Saturday night, slight chance of flooding before 8 p.m. Most class guy, low on 27 degrees in the northwest, with about 5 miles per hour. For Sunday, most of the sky about 42 degrees. Northwest wind about 6 miles per hour. Sunday night, most of the coast sky low about 29 degrees. Monday, Sunday, park sky about 43, low about 30 degrees. For Tuesday, park sky is about 46 degrees. Tuesday, chance of showers, class sky low about 33 degrees and chest patient 30 percent. For Wednesday, had chance of showers with most sky sky about 43, low about 31 degrees and chest patient 30 percent. Thursday, park sky park sky about 42, low about 30 degrees. For Friday, most of the sun sky have about 40 degrees. Not temperature, 30 degrees over cast sky. That's me for Peter Channel. 3 o'clock news and this is 7 12, 2014 on Friday. P.O.S.E. Have a good day. What a good positive attitude. I'll be seeing you for a late hour for 11 o'clock. Have a good day. What a good positive attitude. Good evening and good.